Whiskey Mad back for another review. And tonight we are reviewing another whiskey in my collection, which is Highland Park Viking Honor. I'm just going to give you a basic review of this whiskey. I'm not going to really give you the history or anything like that. Just going to read what it says on the bottle, tell you what I think and think it smells like and tastes like, if it's worth buying, and that's pretty much it. So let's first read what it says. Let me twirl it around here. It says here, Highland Park 12-year-old Scotch Whiskey. It's the Viking Honor Edition. It's a single malt, and it's 43% alcohol. So let's see what it says on the back, if it says anything. Da, da, da. It's saying here, the tasting notes are um, honey, sweetness, rich fruitcake. And it has kind of a peaty smell. Well, that's all it says. So it doesn't tell us a whole lot. If you want to know more about this whiskey, you could jump on their website. So let's, uh, let's open it up. And uh, it's brand new, as you can see. Let's open it up and... Uh, Taste this stuff. Let's see if I can even open it. There's no perforation. Oh, there is. There's there's a little tab here. Get that off of there. Okay. Oh, it's got a nice looking cork. Pretty sweet looking. Oh. oh. There's the cork if you want to see it. I'll bring it in closer. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's uh Fill this up a little bit. That should be plenty. I've got my little friend with me today. This is Gigi the Hedgehog, the Easter Bunny Hedgehog, saying hello, joining me on this whiskey review, since my wife thinks it looks cute. All right, now let's go in for a nosing of this 12-year. Oh, whoo. It is peaty. I can smell the peat instantly, even though it, it said it, I probably could determine that it smells like peat or grass or some type of, you know, some type of, you know, vegetable or something. Some kind of succulent. All I'm getting is peatiness. I don't smell anything but peatiness. I'm not a peat fan for my scotches. That's more like an, an Isle region, I would guess. I prefer to stick with the, the fruity, more spicy type of whiskeys, but who knows, this one might be good. I'm getting nothing but a bold, strong peat smell. It just smells like earth. It smells like, uh, it kind of smells like manure, which is, which is not that appealing. You know, like a fresh compost or something similar to that. Let's go in for a little tasting here. Well, the first thing I want to say is thank God, thank the Lord, it doesn't taste like manure. It smells pretty strong, smells pretty earthy, but um, the flavor of it is pretty pleasant and it's exceptionally smooth. It's not very peppery. Um, it, it has elements of fruit, although I can't pinpoint exactly what fruit it is. Let's go back for another nosing and tasting. God, the nose of that is just rank. I don't know why they they made it smell like this. It's it, it smells, in my opinion, it smells terrible. I don't even want to smell it, but it tastes good, which is strange. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Holy guacamole. Oh. Now that time I did the swish test and it's, it's extremely harsh. The pepper, when you swish it, just burns the crap out of your mouth. Just, it's like an extreme peppery fire that you get when you swish it. My tongue is like numb now. My lips and gums are like tingling. 
I would say that um, for never, this is the first time I've ever tried a Highland Park whiskey, and this is my first one I've tried this, which is the Viking Honor. I don't know if I like this whiskey or not. I'm not sure of it yet. Sometimes when you drink whiskey, you got to drink it a couple times, and then you kind of acquire the taste, or you start to like it, or maybe even your your flavor profiles change. But for me. I'm, I'm a little torn. I don't know if I like it or not. It's got some weird, weird flavors. It's got some, it's got a weird smell. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a little strange. And I've seen reviews online of people saying this stuff isn't that great and stick with the regular Highland Park. That may be true. I won't know until I try that other one. But, um, but as for this, um, if you like Highland Park, you like peaty, um, like the peat smoke and or the earthy, type of whiskey, then you might like this one. I don't prefer it really that much for, for right now. Um, in my On my scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like a 5. It's mediocre because it tastes good, but it doesn't smell. It doesn't, I mean, it tastes okay, but it doesn't smell good. I um, think this is about $40 a bottle. And um, if, if I were to recommend this to a friend, I probably wouldn't recommend this one. I would recommend another. So it might not be worth picking up if you don't if you don't like those types of uh, flavor profiles. Anyways, that's my basic review. It's pretty brief. I know, um, you know, if you're looking for more details, you'll probably find another video with, you know, all the history and when they were distilled and the process and all of that. My review is just basic because I'm a novice and I'm just reviewing uh, whiskey from my collection. I'm not like a whiskey professional or anything like that. But um, yeah. That's it, pretty much. All I just want to say is thank you for watching my videos. Cheers, and um, catch me on the next video. Much better when you don't swish. Anyways, thanks guys. Have a good night.